welcome back to Gypsy Rose Papery. Today I wanted to do a flip through of my almost complete uh, December daily and I was going to wait till tonight. Tonight is New Year's Eve to show you like the total absolute complete uh, journal. However, if I waited till tonight then my video wouldn't be up till like middle of the week. So I really wanted the video to be up on the first. So it's pretty much all complete. Uh, I'm all caught up. The only night that I haven't journaled about is tonight. Um, but you can see my cover is fit to burst. And we will take this out of here so that we can really get into looking at it. So I think we've already looked at uh, the beginning parts. I think that's where I left off. I think we did this one together, six. So seven, um, this is just a recycled card and I made a little tag. And so for those of you that aren't familiar with my December daily process, I tried to do a journal a little bit about the day, hand letter some to kind of get my hand lettering practice. And then I also try to do some pictures and they're, they're not all gonna have pictures, but here was another uh, pictures of the gift shop at work and they had some beautiful um, ornaments. And so I really wanted to showcase that. So these printables are from, I think pink, pink paper or pink, yeah, pink paper studio. I can link her. Um, but on this day was our first day here in uh, sunny Florida that it was actually super cold. Um, and by super cold, I mean it was in the 40s, which is not um, pleasant when you your body and your blood is used to 80 plus, you know, 90 degree weather all the time. So I made some soup. It's spicy mahi-mahi soup. And I took a picture. And then under here, I just journaled about the day and what I was grateful for and you know the recipe and all that and then this i showed you guys how to make as part of the ephemera i put a little washi in there so it wouldn't slide out but this was a little journaling card and so i journaled on the back there um but i this was part of my ephemera video and then here i have a little franken tag and it's hard candy christmas is what i hand lettered there and then underneath that is my journaling day 10 this is a uh, quote from the night before Christmas. And then in here, I did my journaling underneath. So this is part of that ephemera too that I made. And in the back, I have my stickers. Here, I just used a vintage book page to make a pocket with this page. And here I wrote on my tag and then on here I put pictures of a fair we had at work um, our job had a huge Christmas fair and I'm covering up my friend's face there because I don't think she'd appreciate me showing you her face but it was just really cool um, and they had a really nice kind of out on the lawn they had all these wood trucks and I got a um, Nutella crepe which was amazing And then on day 14, we went out to Disney and you guys saw the uh, vlog on that. It was so freaking magical. I can't even tell you. Definitely go check out that vlog if you've never seen Disney fireworks because they are amazing. On day 15, we went uh, to a painting class and they, we were painting winter scenes. And so that's my painting there. And here we have a little pocket in case I wanted to add more stuff in there. Then this again, I showed you how to make on the ephemera video. And so in here I have, I covered it with a piece of ribbon, but it's my Christmas list for everyone and what I got them. So I was hiding it. And this is just a little bit of journaling. These are all from Ayosier and I did journaling underneath here and behind here. Here on day 19, uh, somebody came to my job and they made uh, homemade cookies and they gave each one of us a little bag and so this is the bag and I saved that.
And then 22 was the full moon and I do do sort of a full moon intention and my intention is, or my affirmation rather, was that I choose only to say yes to the things that I really want to do because I'm so guilty of always saying yes because I don't want to disappoint anybody and so that is just a reminder for me and these gorgeous cards I got from Screech Owl Studios and then underneath I um, journaled about uh, my full moon affirmation and what it meant to me and then this cute little tissue paper is from Ayozie. And then on day 23, oh, we had so much fun. So we went to a uh, ice sculpture festival. I'm not sure what they call it. It's called Ice, and it's down here in Florida at the Gaylord Palms Hotel. And so it's me and my husband, and then that's my sister and my husband. It was a whole entire part of the hotel that was closed off. And they had all the ice sculptures. Basically, they rebuilt the movie set for uh, A Christmas Story in Ice. And so that's Ralphie with his bunny suit behind my husband. But I just hand lettered a quote from the movie. And I will try to put a little bit, a little snippet uh, just now about. <laughs> I saved a napkin from dinner. My sister bought these super cute um, napkins. And then she bought some crackers at uh, World Market, like Christmas crackers, the kind that like pop. And we had we had a blast with those things. So this is the wrapper from the Christmas cracker. And then this is one of the little paper crowns and we all wore our crowns. And so I won on one of the crackers and I won this little mystery calculator. Still don't know what it is, but I just thought it was cute and I want to keep it in there. And then this is a ribbon from the cracker as well. And then I hand lettered, I journaled, and then that's my dad and my husband <laughs> opening the cracker and then my sister and my dad. So we had so much fun with those. Um, on day 25, it was, we were so exhausted and we had, a full like breakfast i got up early to um make a full like spread not one picture didn't remember then we opened a presents did not remember that so i put a picture of my husband taking out our dogs for a christmas eve walk they were all wearing sweaters and they just look so cute and then that's my charlie giving him a kiss but under here i journaled and this is a printable from Lori at Ivy Shutters and I didn't have my special brush pen so I just did regular with a regular sharpie there um, and then the other thing I put on here is my Christmas present to myself I got a few Chic Sparrow journals and so these are the stickers that they include and then on day 26 um, I got this Christmas uh, cookie recipe in the mail and I really wanted to try it but I'm running out of time now because it's the 31st so um, next year I'll have it in here for safekeeping and this is from Lori and so what I did is under here is my journaling but I thought her printables are so pretty 
And then on day 27, I was at work and I got this really cool Christmas card from one of the ladies I work with and she wrote some really sweet sentiments in here and so I really 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 wanted to make it didn't fit but I just kind of made it fit because I really wanted it in here and then this is another printable from Lori and underneath I just journaled so let's see 27 28 um, I started doing the calm app I don't know if you guys have heard of that but it's like an app that kind of promotes mental well-being and every day gives you an affirmation and so my affirmation for this day was a life should not only be lived it should be celebrated and i was like that is so perfect for this uh journal because one thing i've learned about my december daily or one thing that december daily has taught me is that uh, memories are intentional like you can't just expect memories to just happen you have to kind of curate your memories and so I really learned that with this because I can't say that I remember doing as much things as I did this December and I know that I have but do I remember I really kind of don't and so this is such a great way to kind of commemorate that and the other part of it is I never thought of myself as a chronological journaler I've always been somebody who kind of jumps around and kind of just picks whatever page I want but this really opened my eyes. Like there is a lot of value to chronological journaling. So those are my two lessons that I learned. So um, behind this, I just wrote about the meditation that I did through the app and any kind of other thoughts that I had. And then this all is the 29th. And so I have a little extra baggie in here because I wanted to stick stuff in. But I just hand lettered Frosty. Uh, day 29 and day 30, super tired. Um, I, the holidays, I think, finally got to me. It was like a whirlwind of a month. And finally, on the 29th and the 30th, I just felt so exhausted <laughs> and i had to work on saturday the 29th so i got a little christmas present from the universe so i got to leave early on the 29th thank god because I brain my brain was just like a fog and so here i have another little lori printable and i wrote something quick on the back and then finally day 30 it says if we took a holiday and it's like pun intended um and i had some extra pages that i cut out because i just didn't like them kind of covering but I knew I was gonna use them and they weren't like anything special um but it's a kind of like a little inside joke for myself so it's like yes it's how it's the holidays but I really want to take a holiday because I'm exhausted <laughs> and so that's a little joke for me and then I just journaled on the back and then I have all these extra pages before I get to 31 because this is where we'll put our picture um, but yeah, I don't think I'll use these pages. Um, uh, maybe I was thinking I could use them maybe to just journal about the process, but I haven't decided yet. So that is my 99.99% complete December daily. I really enjoyed this process and I really enjoyed sharing this process with you guys. And I really enjoyed watching everybody else. Like I had... So many people I was watching and I was just like, you know, a sponge soaking in all their ideas. So thank you so, so much for all your love and all your support in 2018. I'm excited, super, super excited for 2019. I'm hoping to have um, just some new books out and some new video content and just really looking forward to the new year. Um, I hope you guys have a great new year's eve night or had a great new year's eve night because this will air tomorrow so happy 2019 to you guys bye